Now, here's a really funny thing. So you can try, um, so look up recursion. And now before I press enter, um, the definition of recursion is um, that it repeats. So now I'll press enter. Now it'll say, did you mean and recursion? But that's exactly what I just typed. So if I just click that, it will give you my, the same page, page, and if you click it again, it'll give you the same page. So it's kind of recurring itself, which means it's basically repeating itself. Fun, huh? Okay, so the next one is anagram. So an anagram, anagram is any, um, any word that is made with um, the same letters. For example, listen and silent. Um, so it will tell you, did you mean nagaram, which is an anagram for anagram. Okay, so yeah, it's real. It's pr pretty funny. Now, if, um, now look up. Um, the next one is um, if you want to get an old look of Google, you can actually look um, look up Google in 1998. And you will get a setting that looks like Google in uh, 1998. Now you can tr take me back to the present, and there you go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, okay, so at Anagram, you can also click Web Driver Torso. Web Driver Torso, and now you'll get. Huh, okay, never mind, it doesn't work anymore because there's this little thing, but usually it like gives you a bunch of symbols that um, basically do what it says. So, yeah, here's what it is. Okay, anyway. Okay, so that didn't work for now. It will work for you, maybe. Okay, so now look up um, with brackets, blink, or blink HTML, like it says, or you can just do this. Now, guess what this will do? It'll blink all the words that say blink. Ta-da! Okay, anyway. Um, you can also look up Bletchley Park. Sorry, my spelling isn't that good. Um, Bletchley Park is the place where, uh, in World War II, um, the Germans used the Enigma, and the people saw, cracked the Enigma at Bletchley Park. So, here's the Enigma, Enigma version of um, Bletchley Park. Ta-da! Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, look up, is Google... Down. I don't think I spelled that right. Is Google down? No. <laughs> Duh. Okay. So now you can look up Conway's Game of Life. Now, if you look at this on the side over here, you'll get a Game of Life by Mr. Conway, I guess. Um. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed up the video here, see how much it grows. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna make it big. Okay, I think that's enough. So, as you can see, there are tiny little pods that you can 
there are a bunch of, of tiny little pods that you can see. Like, for example, this one has four squares, and this one has like this, and this one has three squares that is just moving around. So the game of life, basically, you can look it up. So, for example, this group has a few of them. So this one is a stable group. These are not. Okay. So I'm going to just fast forward a little bit more here. So I want to see, let's see how much it grows more. So as you can see, this is rapidly turning into a disaster. Yeah, this is a disaster. Oh, look at that. There's this little crawly, creepy crawly thing that's moving up the screen. Lol. This is so funny. Oh, it gone. Okay, are there any more of those moving pods? Let's see. Oh, here's a moving pot. Nope, they disappeared. There are so many over here that are not moving. That's funny. Okay, anyway, I think that's enough. Okay. So here's the population and the time it took. Population is equal to 748. Not bad, okay. Anyway. Okay, so the next one is, just look up kerning. Kerning. Kerning is the process of adjusting the spacing between characters as a in a proportional font in in typography um, usually to achieve a visually pleasing result kerning adjust the space between individual letter forms while tracking letter spacing adjust the spacing uniformly over a range of characters by wikipedia now look kerning look at the word kerning Kerning. They're spaced out. Kerning. All of them are like that. <laughs> okay. The loneliest. The loneliest number. The loneliest number, according to Google, is one. Now, you can actually look up, add these things. So, add the number of horns on a unicorn. Two. Or you can look up um, the loneliest number plus the um, to life, life, the universe, and everything. 43, because 42 plus 1. Okay. Anyway, so the next one. Okay, so um, if you want just a classic fun game to do look um look no further than looking up tic tac toe now you can cho um choose um hard easy medium impossible and you will basically be given um an impossible game to play against the computer um See? Draw. Okay, so it's really hard to win. Um, anyway, so let's type snake. Now, this is just a fun game to play. Here, look. So you can just play and then you can just play the classic game of snake. Yeah, okay, so I lost. Okay, anyway. So next one is, you can look up bubble level. And this is just for um, a phone, but uh, not on a computer, so it won't work. Uh, if you do it on a phone, it will. Um... If you need something really simple to do and you're playing music, just look up metronome. Metronome. And it will literally give you a metronome to play with. 
It goes from 40 beats per minute all the way up to two, 218 beats per minute, which is pretty fast. Okay, no. Uh, anyway. So, next one is, um, look up Marquis. So, in brackets. So, oops, yeah, Marquis. 